Good afternoon. Hello. <laughs> Life is an unlearned lesson. One doesn't know what's in store. Just when you think trouble's over, there's more. Everyone has her own theory, but nothing's more fickle than fate. And I've always said when it's stormy, just wait. Wrap up some of that sunshine. Put it in your pocket for a rainy day. Get your share of good loving. Sometimes too much thinking can get in the way. And nobody said it was going to be easy. But we can live our life in dismay. So wrap up some of that sunshine. It'll come in handy on a rainy day. Take a walk in the moonlight. Time is made of moments that you can't replace. Take a walk in the moonlight. Welcome in tomorrow with a smile on your face. Into each life, rain is bound to be falling. Although it's said and considered cliche, you got to wrap up some of that sunshine. It's better to collect it. When you least expect it, it may come in handy on a rainy day. Thank you. Well, that's how we typically try and start to relate to an audience. Um, obviously, we're musicians and not talkers. Along with my esteemed and beautiful colleague, Rod Fleeman, we travel all over the world trying to connect with audiences. And in preparing for this TED Talk, you know, of course, it's very daunting. Um, I came up with many titles, and none of them really worked. And I finally decided or realized that it's not the title that matters. It's what you're trying to convey, of course. And what I'm trying to convey, what we're trying to convey in this is how music can inspire and unlock what's inside us. And in my trying to unlock what's inside me, I also try to unlock what's inside the listener. And day to day, trying to cope with everyday life is uh, quite daunting as well. And I, th I find that living through our art, living an artful life, making a life instead of just simply a living is so very important. And I want to share one statistic with you. What is very interesting to me is that Chorus America have, has put out a great interesting study that the most joined activity in the United States is our choirs, our community choirs, church choirs, and it trumps even all of the professional sports way down to Little League in this country. And what does that tell us? It tells us that we want to connect. We want to have some kind of communication and musicality or art form in our life. This next tune I'd like to do for you is uh, a song that I'm sure you'll recognize. 
And what I was able to do is mix my classical training with my love for the popular song. And that's another thing I really love about what I do is I get to mix up my life with my, my past life, my future life, not my future life, my current life with um, what I get to share with you. Smile, though your heart is aching. Smile, even though it's breaking. When there are clouds in the skies, you'll get by. Smile, through your pain and sorrow. Smile, and maybe The sun comes shining through for you. Light up your face with gladness. Hide every trace of sadness. Although a tear may be ever so near. That's the time you must keep on trying. Smile, what's the use in crying? You'll find that life is still worthwhile if you just smile. You gotta light up your face with gladness. Hide every trace of sadness. And although a tear, it may be ever so near. That's the time you must keep on trying, smile. What's the use in crying? You'll find that life is still worthwhile if you just smile. Well, I often say that either music is my therapy or I need therapy because of the music. <laughs> and mostly it's the business of music. It's pretty, pretty strange. Um, Hunter S. Thompson said, the music business is a cruel and shallow money trench, a long plastic hallway where thieves and pimps run free and good men and women die like dogs. And then there's the negative side. <laughs> But I don't want to, that's a whole other story. I'm not going to be dealing with that today. But there's also the really, really fun side. And as jazz musicians, we do all kinds of music, of course, but we're primarily jazz musicians. We get to have really, ha have a lot of fun with it through improvisation. And we'd like to try some of that for you now. And you can think of improvisation as a point A and point B as a map. You are start together here, but how you get to point B really depends on the circumstance, the trust you have with each other, and how much fun you're going to have along the way, 
and hopefully you end up in the same spot at the same time. But really, the, the journey is what's really, really fun. This, uh, this next tune is a Brazilian tune of ours that we love, and this is Upati. And you're going to hear me do some nonsensical syllables in the middle of it, but don't worry, that's what vocal improvisation is about, scat tune. Upatu, the duck was dancing by the water. Quack quack quack, the rhythm made him think he ought to quack quack. He was dancing to the samba, the samba. Oh, goose so loud. The goose was gaining, passing by. Honk honk honk, he stopped and gave that dance a try. Honk honk, the possum over had him dancing. The new thing, the new swing. Then a lovely swan swam by, and all her majesty. Then she loosened up. A hoochie coochie coo did that swan. She joined the duck and goose and did the samba too. You should have seen the kind of samba she could do. They did the samba so long they all fell right in the water. While we were swinging away, quack, 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 quack. Oh, who was a doing Now we're back to point C. The duck was dancing by the water, quack, quack, quack. The rhythm made him think he ought to quack, quack. He was dancing to the samba, the samba. Oh, goose so loud. The goose was gaining, passing by. Honk, honk, honk. He stopped and gave that dance a try. Honk, honk. The possum over had him dancing. The new thing, the new swing. Then a lovely swan swam by, and all her majesty, then she loosened up. A hoochie coochie coo did that swan. She joined the duck and goose and did the samba too. You should have seen the kind of samba she could do. They did the samba so long they all fell right in the water while we were swinging away. Quack, quack, quack. Quack, 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 quack. Ooh, back to Jehovah got me forget all things that I did it. They were dancing to the samba, the samba. They were dancing to the samba, the samba. They were dancing to the samba, the samba. They were dancing to the samba today. Thank you. So we have a lot of fun with this music. So much, so much of our life is spent on the road from airport to hotel to uh, all of those highways and roads that, that he was talking about earlier. And um, once I get to sit down at the piano or sit down and play with Rod, it, it really starts to make sense, all of that other peripheral stuff. So I'm, I want to express to you how important it is to do something that you love with your life and um, make, again, make a life instead of just a living, simply a living. Rodney King said, famously, why can't we all just get along? And I think that if we use art more in our lives, living an artful life, that this is a possibility and that we keep trying to do such a thing um, and have fun every day as you go. This next tune is something I wrote and um, about another love of my life, which is food. <laughs> Well, he ain't got personality, and he ain't got such good looks. When I come home hungry, 
Lord, how my baby cooks. He's a chef of fine distinction. Always cooks it up just right. Whether I come home in the morning, babe, or stumble in late at night, well, he might be cooking lobster, or he might be fixing fish. Doesn't matter, darling, it's always the perfect dish. He's a culinary wonder, baby. Always cooks with the right spice. My taste buds are a frenzy, darling. They think that they've found paradise. Well, I don't have to call Betty Crocker. I don't have to call Sarah Lee. This man has done his homework. He makes up his own recipe. Don't have to go out shopping. Don't have to go out of doors. They say true love's when a man brings home the groceries. Instead of eating up all of yours, he's a chef of fine distinction. He comes complete with pots and pans. I got a nickname for him. I call him my sweet home cooking. So listen, all you ladies, listen up. Don't be a fool if your man starts misbehaving. Just send him to cook and school. You'll have a chef of fine distinction. He might even come complete with pots and pans. Call him anything you want to. I call mine my sweet home. Thank you.